When we saw kids being sold to pedophiles, we knew we needed to do something. In the early days, to rescue a girl, we'd pretend we wanted to buy her. And we'd negotiate a price, the brothel owner would bring her out, but we didn't pay. We'd jump on a tuk-tuk or in a car, and we'd take off without paying and take her to our restoration home. We were doing anything we could to get these girls out, but it wasn't solving the problem. The truth is, another girl took her place, and the brothel kept going. We knew we needed to do more. So we partnered with another organization in hopes that they would help us rescue these girls and shut down the brothels. And one day our phone rang and it was a young girl trapped in a brothel calling for us to help. We didn't want to just rescue her and keep that brothel going. So we gave the information to this other organization, but we had to wait three days for them to get into position to do a raid. But it was tipped off, and none of the girls were rescued, and now they were moved to a new brothel, and we didn't know where they were or how to get them out. They were still trapped there, being abused multiple times a day by many different men. Knowing the extent of the suffering that these girls were going through, we couldn't wait. One girl is too many, and one day is too long. We recognized immediately that it was a big mistake to let them wait in a brothel while we waited for someone else to rescue them. We would never let this happen again. So we partnered with the Cambodian government and started our own SWAT team. And when this partnership with the government started, everything turned around. So instead of raids being tipped off, there was hardly ever a raid that wasn't successful. And now that girl that made the phone call, she's not only rescued, she's not only healed, but today she's a social worker of our SWAT team. And when a rescue happens, the first person those girls see is her. She's also testified against the brothel owner. All the girls were rescued, the brothel was shut down, and no girls are being hurt there again. We do whatever it takes, but that we include you. There are girls trapped in brothels. We know where they are, and we know how to get them out. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. 